ASI Industries, a subsidiary company of the Azol Group, produces ingots and wafers in monocrystalline form, which are then used for the manufacture of high-quality solar cells. In many different stages of production, the raw material, quartz, is transformed into the basic material for the ingots, pure polycrystalline silicon, known as polysilicon. The monocrystalline ingots are made by the Chochalsky process. This begins with filling a quartz crucible with polysilicon and installing it into the crystal growing equipment. Erzol is the only company growing crystals in Germany to manufacture monocrystalline ingots exclusively for the solar industry. In a vacuum, the polysilicon is brought to a melting point at 1,400 degrees Celsius. A rod turning on its bearings is extended downwards from the top until it just penetrates the surface of the molten polysilicon. At its tip is the seed crystal. Very carefully, the seed is drawn upwards without breaking contact with the melt. The temperature is just slightly above the melting point of the material. The thermal conductivity of the drawing rod is so calculated that when the rod is inserted into the melt, there is a temperature drop around the tip. In this way, the ingot is formed, a rod-shaped single crystal over one meter long. The diameter depends mainly on how quickly the rod is withdrawn. To produce an ingot of more than 200 millimeters in diameter takes two to three days. It has a density of 2.3 grams per cubic centimeter and weighs over 100 kilograms. The monocrystalline ingot then undergoes a sequence of mechanical operations. First, the two tapering ends are cut off. So that the solar cells can be more effectively laid on a surface, the round tubular form is given a squarish shape. This is now the basic material for the almost perfectly square wafer. In close cooperation with Castrol, a BP group company, an in-house plant produces and further develops the separator liquid slurry. This liquid is transported along an extremely fine wire inside a special wire saw. With the utmost precision and rather like an egg slicer, the machine then cuts the ingot into thin slices, 200 to 300 micrometers thick. At the end of the process, a single block over half a meter long has produced more than 1,000 wafers. Finally, the wafers are thoroughly cleaned in a horizontal washing machine. Constant quality control guarantees consistent product quality. A fully automatic checking device examines the wafers for fractures and structural irregularities. The integrity of random samples of the monocrystalline wafers is checked under a microscope. Life on this earth is made possible by the energy provided to us by the sun. 
in the form of solar radiation. With our ingots, we form the basis for the generation of renewable energy and thus ensure a sustainable development.